Today we're showing the second part of a new product called Retro Z. This is a freestanding unit that can be used on different microscopes. Uh, let's review what the system consists of, the total system, which will be a microscope of course, and here you see a old lights Ortholux 2 microscope with a zoom lens and mounted to the top is a full frame camera. It's a film like a camera, it's not a digital, but it illustrates the cable going in to control the shutter were that a electronic camera, either a DSLR or a MILK. Here's our 3D printed pedestal stand with the gripper cup mounted to the fine focus and the other component that comes with Retro Z is the famous Cognosys stack shot and here you'll see the basic control unit with the uh, four connections on the side. The top one is the power cable. Uh, the second one from the top is the USB cable. The yellow cable that you see there is actually the shutter trigger for the camera. And uh, the other one that you see there is the uh, cable going to the computer. So, the real key component for stack shooting is a Windows operating system computer. We just happen to use the Dell and, and we sell that uh, uh, Dell system for those who need a complete turnkey package. But the Retro Z itself comes with this stand and this control unit and a gripper cup of your choice that uh, connects to the fine focus knob. So what I want to show you now is a, uh, a quick switch over to another microscope next door. This is, an, is a later uh, Olympus DX microscope and we're going to attach the system to that. So bear with me and uh, we'll make a little switch here. But I wanted to show you the easy interchange to change the gripper cups. Take the one off that we had for the lights and we're going to now slip on another one, another gripper cup, and bring it down a bit and just push it on so you have a good firm fit and lock it down in position. And now when we use the unit in a real-time mode, put the control unit over here so we can see it. Um, I've got the stack shot set up and then we have a screen over here. <clears throat> now this is not a live view image. This is a image from a small format camera that we have on this scope. And I wanted to have a larger uh, monitor available to show you for this demo. So what I'm going to do is simply uh, come over and start the sequence. We're going to take 10 steps uh, through a 200 micron section and the control unit tells us how long this is going to take. And we're moving in roughly uh, uh, one and a half to two micron increments. And now if you watch the focus as it's going through its sequence, uh, you'll see that the control unit is triggering. That's the blinking light. It's triggering the camera. and We're taking a picture uh, every time that lights up. So now if you watch these neurons that are stained with a Golgi stain on the monitor, you can see that we have about 30 seconds left. So we'll just let this run and, and let you see what's going on here. We are creating a Z step in real time. And you'll see that at the end it goes back to the start position where you defined the unit to start. At the end of the stack it goes back to that same position. Okay. Now we don't 
have the ability to show you the stacked image because we're not in live view and we don't have it going through the computer, but <coughs> had you uh, had this connected to your computer with Helicon Focus or uh, uh, the other software that we use, which is uh, uh, called uh, Xerine Stacker, if you had either one of those, you'd be in good shape. So here again, here's the gripper, the pedestal, and uh, you provide the computer, the software, and the microscope. And that's our basic introduction to RetroZ. Thank you for your attention.